What's up guys, Graham here. Last week in the Saturday video we were doing a giveaway for a Nightmare Tide Rift 3.0 beta key and the beta is starting in October 8th so I've got to get these keys to you guys now and the first winner is about to be announced as I had it to where I tweeted about the giveaway and then I asked you guys to retweet it and then I pick one of the winners from the people that supported the tweets and retweeted. So let's get into the winner here. I'm using this website to pick the random retweeter and the winner is... Null is not the winner. All right. And the winner is Brazo Americ. Thank you for retweeting the tweet and supporting my channel. And yeah, we're going to send you your beta key just shortly, sir. All right, guys, if you want to be in on this next giveaway, we are giving away three more beta keys. Yes, we just gave away one beta key, and now we're giving away three more, and I'm afraid that's all the beta keys that I have, so I want you guys to get into this ASAP before the Rift 3.0 arrives on October 8th. So get in here, do some testing, have some fun, and all that good stuff. All right, the three ways that we're giving away this these beta keys is one, Leave your server name and character name in the comments section below this video and we will give away one of the beta keys through that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you like the video. Number two is I want you to tweet on Twitter the hashtag Grim is awesome. Alright, all you have to do is put Grim is awesome in front of the hashtag and we will do a search for that and pick a winner of all the people that links me and also is following me on Twitter and does that hashtag. So the third way is go to my Facebook page and that is in the description below this very video. So you can go to my Facebook and make a post under the post that's talking about this giveaway and you will be entered into the third method of getting a beta key. So if you want optimal results, make sure that you do all three and all of the links are going to be in the description below this video. So make sure you're getting into it and the winners will be announced Wednesday. We are doing it really fast and giving them out Wednesday. So get in on this. You don't have much time. We're not waiting a whole week. I want you guys in the Nightmare Tide right now and joining me. What's up guys, Graham here. As you can see, we are in the Nightmare Tide Rift 3.0 expansion right now and we're making the trip up to the Tarkin Glacier right now and I am in the bottom left area of it so we're going to do some running around and I do have my graphics on ultra right now so you guys will be able to see as good as it can look hopefully my computer holds up with all this stuff and yeah let's go exploring now as you can see it is a never-ending blizzard in this whole area and there are lots of snow animals being featured just like in the first zone that I showed off it was all water creatures and the plane of water was really uh, sticking out to where it was everything was related to water well this is everything is relating to snow it's all snow animals there's uh, ice people here as you can see the infected researchers there look like they're white zombies uh, affected by the frost and you see the leopards back there which is looking like a snow leopard and let's see where we're running up to here we will go up through this area. oh let's see this other mob over here so you guys can see exactly what it is that looks much like the same kind of models that you see in uh, the old rift lands which those are hatchling there uh, Akvari hatchlings alright let's move on to another area and see if we can show off some more of the creatures that's going to be featured in this land here what is going on here All right, there seems to be some kind of eggs onto the ground here and pillars shooting up a, a purple smoke. 
I am not sure what's going on, but I'm sure there's some kind of storyline or quest that's going to be dealing with that area. We're going to avoid it right now because we don't have the quest for it, and I'm not too sure what will be going on there. Now, there is a lot of danger around here, as in the coast here, it it almost doesn't even matter how close to the coast you are you will still fatigue and just uh, just getting here faster I had jumped off the northern part of the Gaboro Reef and was swimming over to, into the Tarkin Glacier area and I was swimming right along the coast and I still fatigued out and ended up dying so I resurrected and landed back onto the land which is the enormous the nearest graveyard available so let's go running around a little bit more and see if we can find some more structures or something here is more of the pillars out of the ground with more of the researchers I'm sure there's going to be a lot involved oh we have ran into a dead end here let's see up there seems to be something it looks like some kind of craters or all right, he threw a dot onto me. I thought I was a bit going to be able to show you right then what it's like to get hit by a level 65, but we're going to avoid that as much as possible because they hit like Mack trucks to a level 60. Even though my gear is absolutely amazing, I am in the top PVP gear of a level 60 Myrmidon. I am in all relic gear, but this is the land of the 65s this is uh, my gear means nothing to these guys oh boy look at that dragon over there all right we are going to go over there and as you can see we got an unstable plasma which looks like a lava elemental or a fire elemental of some sort so we've got craters all in this area okay it's all those elementals down in the craters so I'm not too sure if there is whoa I was about to say I don't know if there's a reason to jump down but we jumped down unintentionally you're about to see what it's like to get hit by a level 65 can I get out of here let's go for it YOLO let me up let me up come on come on oh they were hitting me for he's flying oh see that he hit me for 8,500 damage and then a follow-up of a thousand something so these level 65 what is going on here oh there's a player down there a level 64 player and an another level 64 player so they're activating some kind of quest it seems to be are they gonna fight the dragon I wonder if I can get close enough to uh, click on the dragon so I can see what's going on here you know what we're going down there and we're joining them I'm here for you guys I'll back you up Hopefully I can survive and Mr. Rhino Whacker and Zutan will help me out in surviving. Oh, this stuff is talking. It says, man, you must away for the Ascended will slay you if you stay. <laughs> Alright. So what is it, given the... The dragon some warning to fly away. Let's see if we can give chase here. Where is that dragon? Oh, there is an elite mob there which is called Utro or Urtul, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Something along the manner. Alright, we got a whole city to go down and explore right down there, so 
And mind you, I have not found really a friendly area in this whole expansion yet. There has been some friendly NPCs, but then there would be monsters just around the corner. So nothing seems to be friendly so far. We are going to go see if we can find that dragon. Alright, there's a resurrection point there. Here is a quest. But we are not going to do some quests right now. We are going to explore. There is a plane. There is a water rift right down there. Alright, apparently the dragon ran off, so we're going to go ahead and drop down into this city here. Geronimo! Alright. We're on the rooftop, so we can pick where we're going to drop down. Hopefully I won't drop down unintentionally once again. Uh, this seems to be a hostile fortress, and I'm... I believe I've been in here before, but it doesn't seem to be too much that you can explore. Let's go ahead and drop down. And these guys look like the split personalities of a Dom. So, all right, we're going to try to avoid this stuff. However, I don't think I can avoid that guy if I end up running out there. There's spiders and there goes the central area there. We're going to try to get into there without dying. Hit me for 3,400. Okay, there's mobs all in this area. Let's go into this fortress here. Hopefully nothing is chasing me. Okay, we got... I guess that stuff is all outside the building, I believe. Alright, it's talking to me. You have touched so many in your adventures. In your limited mortal mind, you must think you have saved them. That you have bettered your world. You are a fool. Is anything going to come out at me or is this a quest area that I have not done the quest yet so it's not going to spur anything on. Your world has always been doomed. All your vainglorious heroics have, have done is upset my plans. Your, your kind will perish. It is inevitable. Something going to come out and fight me? Because I will take on anything. Doesn't appear so. Yeah, this is most likely another uh, quest area that I have not done the quest, so it's not going to work for me. And this is place is called the Temple of Aya. So. Oh. Level 65 humanoid. Well, I can't hit him. go ahead and throw up our buffs that way we have some kind of protection if we do get hit by stuff all right so it seems to be playing that flavor text over and over I'm not sure if this area is even finished it may be something that uh, they have not put the mob in that goes there yet so we are going to run See the spiders there. We don't want to tango with the spiders. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. Hit me for a lot of damage there. Let's see if we can lose them. Alright. Mount it up and moving out. Is there anything else around here that we need to explore? I am going to try to give you guys the best walkthrough that I can. No, it does not seem to be anything up there. Oh boy. Do not kill me, sir. 
I just want to look around. I mean you no harm. All right. I think we're good. Let's move on to another area. And as you can see, that whole temple of Ayo was right in this area here. Uh, just to the northwest of me. So you can't really see my mouse in the live, in the recording. So it will be just to the northwest of where I am on the map. And we're hopefully going to move to the northeast and see what some of these greener pastures are right now. As you can see, a lot of things are still loading up a little bit slowly. With everything being in the beta, it is not optimized yet. As you can see, the stairway in front of me was still lined in green until I got close enough to where it could load. But we're going to run into this town here. And this is called the Gar Station Tau. And it looks like a portal is right over here. So let's activate this portal. Alright, let's see. Plane of water, I have activated only one other portal besides the entrance one. And I believe this is one of the towns that I was speaking about where there would be friendly mobs in one area. And then just right around the corner will be enemies. Let's see. I believe it's the same place. How do we get up into other areas besides what we're looking at right now? Is this the only part of it? Station town? Alright, here goes an opening over here. I don't... Oh, there's stairways up right here. Alright, let's go up this way and see what we can find. As you can see, the statues are pretty cool looking. Let's get a more front view of it. Pretty amazing statue work there. Alright, let's see here. The researcher. Oh, that's... Is he the only thing that's up here? What's this? Oh, I can't use it, so... I guess we'll leave it. Alright. Um, let's see. There is another gateway here. Maybe this will lead to a better area. Mailbox. No mail. I think this is the same area I came in at. No? Maybe different. Alright. We're going to head to the east. And hopefully we'll start going up towards the north. To where we can uh, see that green area that I was talking about. Let's see on the map here. As you can see there's green area just to the east of me. To the far east and then just straight to the north. Uh, a good run is going to be more green area up there. So there must be something going on with uh, green pastures in the frozen tundra here. Oh, we have a new area here. Alright, what do we got? Okay, we have a foothold right beside this uh, portal. Hello. So let's activate this portal. And right now we are right in the middle here, which is just to the west of some of the green area. Let's see here. Let's... There are quests there, but we're not going to do any of the quests just yet. We are going to move on and hopefully be able to do some questing a little bit later. I hear that the leveling process through all of this is rather fast. At this current time, there's people saying that you can get to level 65 in like 5 hours. Uh, uh, that will most likely be adjusted but who knows it may be super easy and they may leave it just the way it is let's see somebody's been in this area killing this stuff i believe or else these monsters have been doing it. these young ishelin and what do we got over here we got
We got a dead cow? No, they're all eating on it? Alright. So what is this going on here? It's a humanoid and it looks like he's running a class or telling the troops what to do, one or the other. But this is pretty much the first real friendly area I've seen. A dying Kamoho coral. Alright. But once again, like I was saying before, whenever you seem to find friendly monsters or friendly people of any sort, there are bad monsters all around them, as you can see. Over there, the young Ishalin and other monsters are all in the area as well. Alright, these guys are going to be given some quests and stuff, alright. He's got some rather interesting looking swords. And here goes another one of those uh, people running class. And they've got them with different names, so they may be relevant to the quests that you'll be doing in this area. And as you can see, I'm just to the east of where I was before, and it is the kind of green area on the map, so... Alright, I really feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff. There may be something just to the north, or just to the west, or wherever, and I'm not too sure. I'm exploring for the first time here. I've been through some of this area before, but it's not enough to where I can go, Hey, this is where you find this and over here is this I'm basically exploring and learning as I'm talking to you guys so alright we got some sheep there and the rams are very aggressive it appears alright let's get past all this stuff and we're going into this area here oh there are elite monsters over here so we need to be careful we do not want to upset those guys. What is this? A sword in the ice? Alright, I can't touch it yet. Obviously part of a quest or something. A sword just wouldn't be sitting in the ice by itself normally. And we got a Char Charax Brutalizer. And it is an elite level 65 mob with 520,000 hit points. And then we got, oh, this is a unique creature here. Possessed by a Akvin. Controlled by a deceased Akvin. Outgoing damage increased by 15%. Alright, that's, whoa, we don't want that guy getting close to us. Sneaking up on us. Wow, look at his artwork, man. His face and everything is really cool looking. I'm sure eventually in the Rift Store we'll be able to get a mini size him. <laughs> Alright, we got a Ravenous Shaghai. There we go, some more Ravenous and Voracious Shaghai. What's going on with this over here? It is Rotting Akvan Flesh. Hmm. All right. Wow. I am not too sure what's going on with this area, but I'm sure there's some questing that's supposed to be going on here. What is going on up there? Is there anything back here that we need to see? No? Alright, let's go exploring. Whoa, this whole area is lit up. Discovered Sharak Fortress. Alright, where are we at right now? Sharak Fortress is just to the north of the Greenland there. So, oh, Sharak's Crushers. Oh, it's all those blue people. Alright, we're going to, have to do some heavy avoidance. Oh, there goes a glacial spire fragment that rock that's in the ground there so I imagine you'll be able to resource gather that stuff and as you can see there are quests here for the fallen skelf let's 
move past all of this. Oh, what is that guy right there? Oh, don't get attacked by those. I hope the radius of the aggro on this stuff is not too insane. We got a Sharx Crusher there with Chill Sworn Maulers to the sides of him. Alright, let's... Oh, he is red. Is he going to attack? No? Alright, I wonder what's going on with that. What's his name? He is General Og. He looks to be imprisoned, it looked like. Looks like, maybe. Not too sure exactly what's going on there. What are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting some of the green, uh, the friendly creatures, I guess. Alright, let's keep moving around all this area and hopefully nothing starts hitting us and kills us. Carrion Eater. Alright, let's... Whoa, what was that? seems to be a war that's going on in this area let's see if we can explore a little bit more and get to the bottom of this maybe they'll show us uh, some catapults and stuff that are shooting those things maybe oh there goes an elite chaser there it's called a fry uh, Frostfall chaser all right What's the buff that it has on it? Increases maximum health by 10%. Alright. I don't know if we want to drop down there right now. Because we have the option of dropping. We don't have the option of going back up. Let's see if we can get past all this without anything knocking our head off of our shoulders. Alright, we're heading north now, so hopefully we can get past all of this stuff without getting killed. And show you guys some more of these lands. Oh, this is one of the bridges. I've seen many of these while I was exploring the first time. Basically, you've got to go up this rocky bridge to get over the whole chasm. Bone breakers, shag high bone breakers. Alright, do we want to go that way or that way? I tell you what, we'll go this way since it's hugging the coast. We can always go inward whenever we want. Uh, covering all the outside ground will be rather difficult later. As you can tell, some of this stuff hits insanely hard while some of the other stuff doesn't hit nearly as hard and my stats seem to be adjusted um, I don't know if uh, it's purposely adjusting it or if there is a bug or something but on live servers with the gear I have on right now I'm usually running around with about 45,000 health well once I get into this uh, beta and into the plane of water and all that I'm running around with 71,000 health so I don't know what's going on with the stats there. There goes a uh, Akvari Frost Claw. And uh, Akvari Delver there. So let's go and keep exploring this area up here. Looks pretty cool. It's the Isbithu's Demise. Alright. It seems to be a giant monster of some sort got froze into the ground here or something servant of Isbithu. man if you could release that thing and it's not like a permanent art structure that would be absolutely insane look at all the mouths and everything this thing has this is so cool man oh man all right Avoid getting attacked. There goes parasites. There's no way I'm going to get around those mobs without getting attacked. 
So we're going to try an alternate route right through here. There, oh, we got a Agvari Summoner. Look at those eyes on that thing. All right, we're going to try to jump up on its back. Parasite are on it. I wonder if there's a way of bringing this thing alive. This is this is pretty cool, but if you can bring it back to life and it busts out of the ground or something crazy like that, that would be insane. Imagine if that was like the Volan of this whole expansion. You know, you uh, do something to release it and it busts out of the ground and starts going towards a town or something. That would be absolutely insane. I would love to see something else that is the scale of Volan. Alright, we have discovered Mount Sharax. What is going on here? Those look like little galaxies or something like a... Almost like a Milky Way kind of formation. That is really cool. I wonder what kind of rele relevance that has. Alright, we got Shigari Bat. Beastmasters. Oh, look at all the little galaxies and stuff. This is so cool. They're all over the place, too. Let's take a long, winding loop around this stuff. Hopefully, we can do that. So, we're going to head to the east, northeast, and try to. Oh, what's that? There is a lot of stuff going on here, and I have no clue what any of it is. What is this? A cosmic fissure. Can we keep going up this way? Cosmic fissure. Oh, this is a passageway here. Oh. Let's try to survive with my stun and hit the wrong monster. Oh boy, what is that? What is that thing? It is called uh, Harder Draw. These guys are Ringer. Both. Are they trying to bring this thing to life or something? What is going on here? I'm afraid to get much closer. I don't really want these guys to start wailing on me. I do not have the levels or the gear to compete with level 65s right now. My gear may be alright if I was level 65. I know they said that the top gear of the previous, uh, like the level 60 stuff, if you're in T3 gear or the top PvP gear, it could last you all the way to level 65, so you may be able to use it, but... Alright, I don't think these guys are going to be releasing this unless I took in some kind of uh, initiative to go in after them. I guess we can't go any more north. There's just no way of doing it. It's all glacier area, so... Alright, we're going to start going southwest now. What is going on with this area? I don't know, but we're going to continue to jump. To Whoa, what is all that? Is it enemy? No, it's friendly. All right, it is Cerulean Arbans. All right. So that is a friendly race there. Bloodfire Scouts. Level 65 with 208,000 hit points. Hmm, okay, let's try to navigate into the right direction here. 
All right, guys, we have pretty much ran full circle and landed back where we first started. So that is our exploration of the Tarkin Glacier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you're getting in on these beta key giveaways because you want to be able to come here and level up and experience all of this before it actually comes out yourselves. So as usual, guys, my name is Grim and I will see you next time.